Hey, what's up, Leron here. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I actually am playing around with new overlays, so I hope you like the design. Today, I wanna to talk to you about why it's okay that you took a break from your art. And let me tell you what's the framework from which I wanted to film this video. So I've been reading a lot of comments and messages lately that have been talking about uh, people who, due to life circumstances, being busy, having other responsibilities, had to take a break from making art. And that is totally okay. Uh, but uh, a recurring theme was how people were worried that now they lost their ability to paint or uh, judging themselves for, for taking that break, right? Now, a couple of things about that. First off, you already did it. You already took the break. So no real use in judging yourself over it. Uh, now, the second thing is, and this is hopefully uh, can be a point of hope to you, is I think it's really important for you to know that the fact you took a break probably did not hurt your skill, especially not in the long run, right? So one could argue that the next time you uh, are approaching a painting or a drawing or a sketch, it's gonna be a little harder, you may be a little rusty, right? Uh, but from my experience, that rust gets removed very fast. So let's take a couple of different scenarios, right? Let's say um, it's been two weeks and you just couldn't find time to paint or create and you feel down about yourself, right? So let's be real, in two weeks or three weeks, nothing really happened to your skills. The only thing is maybe your motivation is a little hurt. You're like, I didn't manage to do it for two or three weeks. So now how am I going to be able to paint something nice? First off, you may not be able to paint something nice the first time you go back to painting. But if you just go back to it, if you just make the decision, okay, now I have free time, right? Because it was a two to three week break. Now I have free time, I can do this. So you just paint, and then the next day you paint again, and voila, before you know it, it was exactly like you were before. So basically the break didn't really hurt you, right? So that's one possible scenario. And especially in this scenario, what hurts people more is their judgment towards taking so so-called or aforementioned break, not the break itself. You have to understand, no skill is lost in two to three weeks, nothing, right? Again, it's just about confidence or um, habit, right? But, but actually, you're still the same. You can paint exactly the same. So what really messes with people is just the mentality of now it should be hard because I took a break or now I can't do it because I haven't done it for a while. That's the only thing there. So I want you to set that worry aside and just decide, make a decision. Okay, now I have more time. I'm going to go back to creating, right? So that's the first scenario. Now let's look at another scenario. Let's say... Um, you had a big life change and you quit doing your art for a whole year, right? An entire year. You didn't paint, you didn't create. Uh, and then you start to get that nagging feeling that now it's time to paint. It's time. I, I, now I should do it. Now I have some more free time. Just accept the fact that in a year, some rust is built more rust than in two uh, or three weeks right so it's going to be harder it's going to be harder at first and your results won't be as good as they were before and that's to be expected but here's the kicker i find that the rust still can be removed very fast especially compared to the time frame in which you took a break so let's say you took a break for a year a complete year right and you feel all bad about yourself that feeling being down on yourself, that's the thing that's hurting you. Because again, if you make the decision to just go back to it, just do it again, you will very fast go back to the, to the track you were in. In my experience, even a year of not doing a specific type of art, within a month of consistent training and practice, you'll be right back where you were, right? And you want to maybe improve, and that's a good starting point for improvement, right? And let me give you one other um, ray of sunlight, or ray of hope. What I find is actually when I come back from a break, something in my work is more fresh and more real. If you're able to just set aside the judgment for a moment and just practice on doing, just you have the paper, you have the paint, and you just paint. You don't even think about it too much. Now, what you'll find is sometimes you go back to it with a much fresher, cleaner mind. Um, and... I find that because I take a break, I enjoy doing, even if it's just a short break, or two weeks or something like that, the next time I draw or paint, 
it's more fun because I get to experience closer to what it was the first time. I get to be more of an observer of what I'm doing rather than the person doing it. Um, so imagine watching someone else paint and it's so much fun and, and, and it can be very motivating because you're looking at someone, maybe they're more skilled than you, but you just look at it happen. Look at the magic happen without any worry, right? Uh, so I get a bit of that feeling when I go back to uh, painting or drawing after a break. Uh, so just know that maybe underneath the self judgment and the worry, right? And the brow beating that people tend to do for themselves, you know, they, they mess with their own head. Uh, maybe under all of that, there's a very pure creative drive that's just pushing you to do without thinking about it too much, without caring about the result, without caring about producing something good, just the mere act of doing. And maybe, just something to consider, maybe the fact that you feel this pressure to go back to creating, that's the authentic part of you that's directing you to create, right? There's a reason you feel that way, because something tells you on a very natural uh, level and from a very natural state of mind, this is the thing I want to do. This is the thing I should be doing. So if you look at it with zero emotions, that's the only thing it's telling you, go ahead, paint. And if you're able to do that, in my experience, not only will you go back to where you were very fast and you won't lose a single thing, even if we're talking about a year, right? And even if we're talking about longer than that, even take a decade, right? So you'll have another learning curve, right? Not only you'll go back to where you were, but also you'll have something fresh about it. You'll have something clean and clear. And that's an opportunity. That's a, something to take advantage of and, and create with happiness and with clarity and with fun, because that's what it's supposed to be, right? So I hope this gives you the motivation. If you've been taking a break, whether it's a week, two weeks, three months, a year, right? You can go back to where you were. You can go ahead and just do. Um, and, and this is from experience of, you know, I've been making art ever since pretty much I was, <laughs> I was able to hold a pencil, but seriously for the past eight years or so, nine even maybe. Um, and all throughout these nine years, there have been breaks, there have been things that happen and you always just go back to it. Uh, and I find that what's in here, that's the thing that's stopping you, not what's in your hands or your ability or anything like that. So I hope that motivates you. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you like the new overlay. I'm going to switch it out once in a while, switch the paintings you see here. Uh, but this is a good opportunity to show you, right? So make sure to follow on all of these places. If you want to see a bit of a different content, I will be posting more on TikTok now that I'm actually promoting it. Um, more short videos, fun, bite-sized, some, some things of just me, you know, talking or reacting to stuff. Uh, Instagram as well, that's the core where the updates happen. Facebook, I'm starting to be a lot more active because I do see a lot of activity there. And also, if you want to get an original painting, you can get it in the gallery. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.